Welcome to the 10-Minute Life Coaching Program. My name is Jay Cleveland Payne. I train people for improved personal and professional development, offering my assistance for those ready to develop their goals into tangible, focused, and achievable plans of action. And this podcast is one tool I use to complete my mission. Now, how this podcast works is very simple. In 10 minutes' time, just 10 minutes, you'll have a lesson that you can take along with you right here, right now, and apply some of the principles to your life directly. Whether you're looking for something that's personal or professional development, this podcast will give you something to do in 10 minutes' time, guaranteed. And if the lesson that you're receiving today it seems like it's very familiar to what you're doing, something you're already trying to do right now that hasn't quite clicked yet, this is your wake-up call. This is your improvement call. This is just a bit of reinforcement to let you know that what you have going on is a great plan. Maybe needs a little more time and effort to make it work out. Maybe we can help you out with that. Go to the website, timandlifecoach.com, and figure out if what we have to offer can help you along your way. Now, we are doing some batch programming up for the holiday season, and we did the first batch a couple of days ago. And if we time things out correctly, this episode, as they go into the system, should come out on Christmas Day of 2017. Otherwise, it'll be fairly close to the issue, uh, but a very good time for it to come out. And it's also apropos for a episode we would have released, if they're in the right order, three weeks ago. That episode was entitled, Self-Care Should Be Self-Evident. This can be seen more or less as a part two or maybe even a part 1A as we're talking about depression specifically. Now, we're recording this uh, ahead of time, so it's going to be weeks after the incident that really ignited the issue of putting this one inside the system. But news came out a few days ago uh, through a website, through Facebook, and through another podcaster that another podcaster was caught up in a very serious situation, a murder-suicide. He was a podcaster that, ironically enough, was dealing with a podcast for him dealing with depression, his depression and other people's issues, along with issues with PTSD on various levels from various types of outlooks. What happened essentially was he was getting into some issues with his personal life with his wife. His wife was preparing to file for divorce because of some struggles they were having personally, and he ended up killing his wife and then himself. So a lot of sadness going through the community of podcasters, a person I had never met, but a podcast I've heard of and had seen a lot of people that had positive reviews of the person and for the podcast. Now, why is this really a big deal right now? As we said, this episode is probably coming out on Christmas Day. And Christmas is one of the most bleakest time of the year, one of the most times that most people attempt things like suicide because of the happiness and joyous occasion of the season where people that feel alone and isolated and extremely depressed just can't handle all the bright lights and happiness of Christmas. New Year's, the stretches for a few more days, a few a week or so, makes it even worse. And so a lot of people in this period of time get very dark, very bad places, and many people attempt suicides around the holidays, especially on Christmas and New Year. People who find themselves alone at a time when people are talking about family and friends and festivities and fun. Now, for starters, if you find yourself in any situation where you feel just like you just can't hold on any longer, we need you to reach out to someone. If you can't reach out to someone personally, Call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. So call that number immediately and so you can find a way, hopefully, to get yourself settled and get someone to talk to you there. The best thing to do is to find someone to talk to, but people who are dealing with deep depression, people who have dealt with it in batches or in definite bouts over and over again, know there are times when they feel They are totally alone, and no one can hear what they're saying. The words are coming out, but it's just like they're not even speaking. There's no sound coming out. I know this because I've dealt with depression at that level at various times in my life, and I know just how serious and horrible it is. And I still deal with times where I get a little more down than I ought to, especially as I'm going through a lot of issues right now. Personally, we still have a lot of open-ended things in my life, and that's what really 
causes the triggers for depressions when there's a lot of open-ended things going on in life. When I'm not sure about what's going on with my career or the side business or my family, things get really weird. A few incidents where I got really, really deep was all the issues going through the birth of my daughter, which included uh, two miscarriages that my wife had to go through physically and helping her through those things, and a very, very, very heated argument on the fact that whether we're going to actually try or not try in the first place to have a child after that was a discussion my wife and I had when we got married, and then years later, we hadn't even attempted it. Another big issue came with my health scare, where obviously I was dying in the present, but then after it all was passed, getting myself mentally aware to continue on at work, at home. Uh, I was working on my MBA at the time and trying to do some kind of business thing. All those things, none of them had any real certainty, and all of them were really causing me some bad issues until I got through a few of them. One of the things that I'm going to say, do as I say right now, not as I necessarily did, is the fact that when you are totally alone or you feel totally alone, you really aren't necessarily that alone. There are plenty of people around you who have sympathies or what you're going on, who have maybe even gone through similar things and will be there to help you out, to give you a sounding board. Maybe they are the springboard to your next thing. Maybe they have the key to exactly what you need to move on for. And sometimes they just are just able to just be there at a time of need so you to blow off some steam and move on. Problem is, you may find people who really don't want to deal with you because, trust me, being depressed is not the exact time when you want to deal with other people who are depressed. So dealing with other people when you're in a bad state tends to make your state a little worse. And so what can you do about it? Well, let's talk about you and your depressed state right now. You may not be capable of managing all the emotions and all the craziness of the season right now and definitely the craziness of the people who are disappointed for what you deem as little things as you're dealing with the world crashing around you. That is not your problem. That is not your fault. That is okay. But on the flip side, you need to reach out to as many people as possible. People you trust, maybe somebody you don't exactly trust if it seems like that bad, to find someone to help you pull yourself out of your own depressive hole just for a little while. You need to bother people until you become their problem and they figure out that you are their problem and you need to be dealt with. You need to be fixed, if you will. Now, no one's going to be able to necessarily fix you, but someone will be able to keep up with you and help you get through whatever's going on. There are dark times that a lot of people go through, and sometimes all it takes is a person being in the room to make things that much better. So in this season, this holiday season, which should be joyous for all of us, but as some of us know, it doesn't work out that way for all of us. Be on the lookout if you are on an upswing. Be on the lookout if you are at a positive stance, if you will, for people who aren't doing so well. And in the spirit of the season, offer up a little tidings and joy and help them up and keep them propped up to get through the season. And if you yourself are in one of these funks and you just can't quite figure out why no one is hearing you, I'm telling you, someone is hearing you. You just need to keep on saying the words, keep on saying what's going on, keep on hinting that you need a little bit of assistance and find the assistance that you need. Because if you're listening to this podcast or if you're a person listening to this podcast and knows someone who's in one of these situations, you know how important they are to your life. You know how important you are to other people's lives. You know deep down that you are a very important part to this world, and the world needs what you have. We just need you to take a breath, get through the season, get to a better place, and move on to something better. Because there's always, always a fix to something better. Once again, if you find yourself in a funk, in a very serious situation, or know someone who can't quite figure out how to flip the switch, either in this season or any time at all, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. Give it a call. Have a conversation. 
If you can't find a person locally to talk to, a counselor, a pastor, or just a regular person, that hotline is manned 24-7, 365, 66 days a year, so that someone will answer the call. And thank you very much for listening to this episode of the 10 Minute Life Coach. And I apologize if it was a little darker than normal episodes, although I really shouldn't because of the subject matter. As I said, inside of the actual lesson, uh, this was triggered in the middle of doing our batches of episodes for the holidays or to cover us up into the big beginning of the year because of a posting I saw from a podcaster who put out the information on the loss of life from another podcaster, a person I didn't personally know, but someone whose work I didn't know and is very popular among the upper tiers of podcasting. And even though he dealt with a subject matter like depression, could not quite battle the demons to the end in this realm. And this actually happens a lot to people who overcome their demons to become champions for that cause. And then at some point in time, those demons catch up to them and then they can't handle it and they lose the battle there. So thoughts and prayers go out to the family uh, there. And of course, all the people who knew him personally and worked with him uh, in the community, my thoughts and prayers go out to you every single day, especially those uh, that are having these type of big, big issues and are looking towards personal development, life coaching as a way to fix themselves. You're not broken, but you do have something that's not quite working well. And hopefully something that we are offering here in our podcast or something in our community together can help you make that step up to get a little bit better so you get a little bit better every single day. Uh, Once again, the hotline, the suicide hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 if you really feel that you are just out of sorts and can't find a way through. Otherwise, we work with people who are dealing with personal professional development I am not a counselor. I am not a psychiatrist. I'm not a psychologist. I just work with people with a couple systems and checklists and just kind of keeping up with folks to help them get better. But if you want my help, just want to talk, check me out by going to the website, 10minutelifecoach.com, and find a way to interact with me, and hopefully I can help get you on the path to where you need to go. My other main projects, jclevenpain.net, and email at jclevenpain at gmail.com. Once again, Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever it is you worship or not worship. Hopefully it's bringing you peace and joy in the season, if not every single day. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. I could not rock and roll as a 10-minute life coach or any of my other uh, endeavors if it weren't for you guys out there listening and responding and giving me feedback. All feedback for this one is just as appreciated as well. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your holidays. And just keep on listening to us right here at the 10-Minute Life Coach.